Let's start with the oldest and simplest design, the manual transmission. Have you ever wondered why car enthusiasts are so passionate about driving stick? Well, here's why. A manual gearbox puts you in full control of the car's power delivery. Using a clutch pedal and a gear lever, the driver physically engages and disengages gears. When you press the clutch, you separate the engine from the transmission. Then, by selecting a gear manually, you decide exactly how much torque gets sent to the wheels. It's mechanical, it's tactile, and it gives the driver a connection to the car that automatics just can't match. Manuals are often lighter, cheaper to maintain, and in many cases, more durable. That's why so many racing cars, off-road vehicles, and budget cars have relied on them for decades. Of course, the downside is convenience. Learning to drive stick can be intimidating, especially in stop-and-go traffic. And in markets like the US, manuals are becoming rarer by the year. But for people who value the driving experience over pure convenience, the manual transmission will always have a special place. If you've ever wanted to feel like you are part of the machine, the manual is the ultimate choice. Now let's move to something far more common, the traditional automatic transmission. This is the gearbox you'll find in most family sedans, SUVs, and luxury cars. Instead of a clutch, it uses a torque converter, which is a fluid coupling that connects the engine to the transmission. This allows the car to come to a stop without stalling and provides buttery smooth acceleration when you press the gas. Automatic transmissions shift gears on their own, controlled by hydraulic systems and more recently, by advanced computers. They're smooth, comfortable, and extremely easy to use you just put the lever in D and drive. The trade-off? Traditional automatics used to be heavier and less fuel-efficient than manuals or other gearbox types. But modern versions, with 8, 9, or even 10 gears, are incredibly refined. Companies like ZF and Eisen have perfected them, offering lightning-fast shifts and excellent efficiency. That's why you'll see torque converter automatics everywhere from budget-friendly sedans to high-performance luxury cars like BMWs and Mercedes. They've stood the test of time for good reason, convenience, and smoothness. The CVT, or Continuously Variable Transmission. If you've ever pressed the gas in a CVT-equipped car and felt the engine rev up while the car slowly catches up, you've experienced what's often called the rubber band effect. Unlike manuals or automatics that use fixed gears, a CVT has no gears at all. Instead, it uses a system of pulleys and a steel belt that can constantly adjust the gear ratio. This means the engine can always stay in its optimal RPM range for fuel efficiency or performance. The big advantages? CVDs are smooth, efficient, and great for city driving. That's why so many economy cars like the Toyota Corolla, Nissan Sentra, or Honda Civic use them. They maximize miles per gallon and eliminate shift shock. The downsides? Enthusiasts often complain they feel soulless. You don't get that satisfying gear change or engine surge. And under hard acceleration, the constant drone of the engine can sound unpleasant. Reliability has also been a mixed bag, with some early designs prone to premature wear. Still, CVTs dominate the economy car segment because they do exactly what they were designed for, save fuel and make driving effortless. Now let's talk about a transmission that combines convenience with race car performance. The dual-clutch transmission, also called DSG in Volkswagen and Audi cars. A DCD is essentially two gearboxes in one. It has two clutches, one handling odd gears, and the other handling even gears. While you're accelerating in one gear, the next gear is already pre-selected on the other clutch. When it's time to shift, the transmission swaps instantly, often in milliseconds. The result? Shifts are incredibly fast and seamless. You get lightning-quick acceleration with almost no interruption in power delivery. That's why DCTs are used in performance cars like the VW Golf R, Audi S3, Porsche 911, and even some Ferraris and McLarens. Drivers can let them operate in fully automatic mode or take control with paddle shifters for a more engaging experience. Of course, there are downsides. DCTs can be jerky at low speeds, like in stop-and-go traffic. They're also more complex and expensive to repair compared to traditional automatics. But when it comes to performance driving, few transmissions can match the precision and speed of a dual clutch. And finally, we come to the Automated Manual Transmission, or AMT. Think of it as a manual gearbox with a robot operating the clutch and gears for you. 
AMTs are essentially manual transmissions fitted with actuators that handle clutch engagement and gear shifting automatically. This makes them cheaper to produce than full automatics, which is why they're popular in entry-level cars in many markets. The benefits? They're more fuel-efficient than traditional automatics, lighter, and cost less. For buyers who want the convenience of an automatic without the higher price tag, AMTs offer a middle ground. But here's the catch, they're not the smoothest. Shifts can feel slow and jerky because the system still has to disengage the clutch, shift gears, and re-engage just like a human driver, but not always gracefully. That said, in markets like India, South America, and parts of Europe, AMTs have made driving more accessible by offering automatic convenience at a manual price point. So there you have it, the five main types of car transmissions explained. The manual for purists who love control. The torque converter automatic for smooth, easy driving. The CVT for maximum efficiency. The DCT slash DSG for lightning fast performance. And the AMT for affordable convenience. Now I want to hear from you what kind of transmission does your car have? And do you love it or hate it? Drop your answers in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of cars. It really helps the channel grow, and I've got tons of videos just like this coming up.